What's up folks, welcome back to another video. On this channel, we help you become a full stack developer. If this is your first time here, definitely consider subscribing. Well, this is an entire series where we're gonna walk you guys through how to deploy application like React, Angular, Vue.js into Amazon S3. And at the end of this series, we're gonna configure our SSL and domain in order to make this available to our end consumer. So definitely stay tuned. Well, in this video, we're gonna walk you guys through how we can deploy an Angular application into Amazon S3. Before we start you definitely need an AWS account if you don't have one yet definitely go ahead and create an AWS account but you definitely gonna need one in order for you to follow along with this series without any further ado let's get our hand dirty first thing first go over wherever you have this URL right here and once you're here make sure that you go here and type s3 and click on the first link you see once I'm here I'm gonna create what they call a bucket and the bucket is something that you can store all your objects your files into it in this one I'm gonna give it a name like YouTube angular s3 bucket and keep that in mind the bucket name should be unique across AWS. And second, you need to make sure that you specify a region that is closer to your end consumer. And the reason being is because the closer the region is to the consumer, the faster that your website is going to load. For mine, I'm going to leave the default one. And once that's done, I'm going to click create. And there you go. I now have a bucket available for me. Now check this out. This bucket and objects not public, which means nobody on the internet will be able to access this bucket. So first thing first, we need a way to make this bucket public. How can we do that? Well, in order to do this i'm gonna click on this bucket i'm gonna go wherever it said permission and i'm gonna make sure that you are on block public access i'm gonna click on edit and i'm gonna uncheck this one which will make this bucket public for everyone to see and click save and type confirm and click confirm and there you go this bucket is now public now the next thing that you need to do is wherever you have the bucket policy we're gonna go here and add a bucket policy and what that mean is it's gonna let people access certain things within our bucket so i have already an example for you guys if you head over this URL, I'm going to attach this URL inside the description. But if you head over this URL and copy this code right here, I'm going to go back to Amazon S3 and I'm going to paste it right here. The only thing we need to do is wherever you have the bucket name right here, you need to replace it with whatever your bucket name right here. So I'm going to copy this and we place the bucket name here with whatever you copy. And once that's done and click save and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, our bucket is now public. Now to make sure that this bucket is actually public, we need to go back to Amazon s3 and then you need to make sure that you are seeing this public label in there if you see in this you're good to go if not then definitely your, your bucket is not fully public so the next step we're going to do is we're going to click on this bucket and we're going to try to deploy our angular application inside this bucket now let's take a look in this example here i have my angular application up and running and by the way guys i'm using the angular cli in order to create this angular application so definitely check that out in my case all i need to do once i have this angular cli which looks like this this is the application I'm going to try to deploy to S3. So once I have that, I'm going to run ng build and this is going to create what they call a disk folder for me. Now check this out over here, right here. Okay. It's going to keep building and over here, I should be seeing a disk folder appear here in a second. For some of you, it might take some time, but the goal is you need to run this command in order for you to have this disk folder right here. All right. Once this is done, you need to go navigate wherever this Angular folder is. In my case, this Angular application is right here. So I need to click on it and wherever you have the disk folder, I'm going to click on the disk folder and now inside of this folder click on the app okay we need to click on the app and once you're here we're going to select everything and drag them over into the s3 right here once that's done make sure that you click on upload and ladies and gentlemen every single file is being uploaded once this is done the last step that we need to do in order to get this available to the entire world we need to go wherever it said properties and click on that and click wherever it said static web option and make sure that you use this option use this bucket to host website i'm going to specify the index html as the starting point and also the same thing for the error document as well once that's done click save and now go back to the static web hosting and click on this url right here so i'm going to click on this one and there you go ladies and gentlemen my angular application is available on this url and i can send this url to anybody that i want on the internet and they will be available to access my angular application of course which looks definitely terrible but this is just an idea on how you can deploy an angular application using s3 now that we have have a website deploy into Amazon S3. This is great. However, this URL is not something that people will remember in order for them to go to your website. And second, this is not secure, which means that it doesn't have SSL. Again, if you don't know what that is, it is okay. In the next video, we're going to walk you guys to how we can take this website into here and configure with something that is much easy for people to remember and also configure SSL into it. If this video has helped you in any ways, please do not leave without hitting 
hitting the subscribe button you helping me creating video like this for people like you to find and if you want to stay tuned with every single new video that i release on this channel definitely hit the notification bell and turn all notification on thank you guys so much for watching this and see you guys for the next video